mgeni anapokuja kwa nyumba yako unafaa kufanya nini let's see aha uh-huh. what's up everybody and welcome back to ironics media i know it's been a long time but guess what I've come back yet with another video and today I want to talk about one of the most amazing thing and exciting things in the world of AI. I'm talking about chat GPT. Some of you have already heard of it, others have not and others are still trying to understand what this thing actually is and what it does. So basically chat GPT is an advanced language model that has been developed and is capable of generating human-like text based on the input that is provided into it. So I personally can say it's something like Google but a more human form of Google. Now this model has been trained on a massive amount of data and it allows it to understand and respond to a wide range of questions and topics with high accuracy. And I mean like high accuracy. I mean This thing kind of responds like a human being. You can go ahead and ask this AI system almost anything and it's going to generate your answers in a few seconds. Why don't we go ahead to my PC and see what I mean? All right, now here we go. So if you want to use ChatGPT, all you need to do is just go to your browser and write ChatGPT. After doing that it's going to bring you a couple of results but ensure that you click on this first one which is written openai.com and after clicking on it it will lead you to the chat gpt or openai.com uh, website after opening the openai.com website all you need to do is just to come here and click on try so it is going to lead you to the chat gpt bot itself and by the way if you are accessing this for the first time it's going to ask you to uh, to sign up for an account or log in if you have an account and creating an account is absolutely free so you don't have to worry about um being uh being asked to pay or anything like that so after logging in and making sure that uh everything is okay this is now the chat gpt itself Down here is where you are going to write any kind of thing that you want. Let's say you want to research something about a uh, forest. Let's say I want a list of forests from Asia. Okay. This is just a random question that I'm asking and like Google you can see and like Google you can see it's giving you something that is precise. Like as you can see it's replying to me as a human being like sure here is a list of some of the notable forests in Asia there is Borneo forest and it's still listing and also if maybe it's in the middle and you are already satisfied with the number of forests it has given you all you need to do is just click on stop response that uh, you may have seen on the screen now you can use chat gpt of course to ask it any kind of question be it on a research you are doing let's say you are a developer and maybe you are trying to look for a specific type of code for example let us ask it a very for a very simple javascript code uh, write for me a javascript program that can output grades for students uh, please understand it's so hard to type while talking <laughs> unfortunately my brain cannot multitask So there we go. Uh, write for me a JavaScript program that is going to output uh, grades for students. So it will give me an example within a short uh, within a short time and there we go. So it has finished uh, oh. So this is basically the JavaScript code that it has generated. You can go ahead and try and search for any other thing for yourself and it's even going to give you a short and brief explanation as to how this code works. Now can I tell you a secret about this video? Um the script that I used for the introduction part was actually generated by ChatGPT. <laughs> it's amazing and I mean word by word. Now Let us start thinking of some things that are off serious business, something that is serious but not so serious. 
Let me also ask, uh, how to make money doing nothing? So let's go. Unfortunately, there's no way to make money without doing anything. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I understand. I actually wouldn't like to make money doing that. Bruh. Now, one thing I also did realize is that it can also respond to Swahili language. Let's, for example, write Mgeni anapokuja kwa nyumba yako unafa kufanya nini? Let's see. Uh huh. Kama mgeni anapokuja kwa nyumba yako kuna baadhi ya vitendo ambavyo unaweza kufanya kuwasiliana na yule mgeni na kumtegemea. Wow, okay. <laughs> I didn't think it's going to actually respond to that but anyway, that's nice. Kachombo cha kufunga kabati na whatever whatever. It's going to produce I don't care that was just a random question. Now, let's ask it a more serious question now. Uh what can I do to improve my mandazi business? That was just a random question. So improving your mandazi business can uh, involve a variety of steps depending on the needs of your business. Here are some of the ideas. Offer unique flavors. So it does understand what mandazi is. Now I did read somewhere on the, the internet that there are some Kenyans actually who took part in giving this AI information. So I'm guessing maybe that's why it's able to understand uh, the Swahili language. I never thought it would, trust me, but okay, this, this, this is nice, this is nice. Now I did say that this app can be used for anything. However, you cannot use it to do malicious purposes. Like for example, if you come and write something malicious like how to rob the Central Bank of Kenya, and this is how it's going to reply it. I'm sorry, but I cannot provide information or assist with illegal or unethical activities. And therefore, you cannot use ChatGPT for malicious purposes. Let that be noted. All right, now, Nothing is perfect in this world, and ChatGPT is not an exception. It does have its own strengths, but it also has its own limitations. Now, one of the limitations of this ChatGPT is that it, uh, it has limited creativity. For example, you cannot give it something uh, that is quite new, especially if it's something that is beyond 2021. So you see, ChatGPT can only be used to generate data uh, using the training data that was used to train it. So it can only be able to come up with something that it has seen before, but it cannot be able to generate original and new ideas. Also, ChatGPT has been trained on a large group of text but it does not have real life experiences or understandings of the world. So it may sometimes provide nonsensical and inaccurate answers if the questions that have been asked require common sense. There are also other couple of limitations that I personally have not yet discovered, but I believe that all these limitations are going to be improved as life goes on and as technology keeps improving. And personally, I do believe that AI is going to be our, probably our next generation, even though I do have some fear of um, AI trying to take over from where human beings. But I also do believe that human beings, uh, especially the human mind is so complex that uh, I don't think AI can fully like a hundred percent acquire the knowledge that a human being has. Now the rise of chat GPT actually gave a very huge and great challenge to Google. And this actually made Google to go ahead and introduce their own AI model called BARD. Now I personally have not used BARD and I'm still yet to know how it actually works and know more about it. And actually guys, let me know in the comments section whether I should do a future video about the BARD AI. So in conclusion, I would say ChatGPT is actually going to be an amazing tool. It's going to ease a lot of work for us, not only as developers, not only as technologists, but also um, other people in other activities.
So that's all I have for you today, guys. Um, let me know what you think about this video and also let me know what you think about ChatGPT in the comments section. Uh, if you have liked this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe for more tech content from Ironix Media. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.